Uh, no soul. Thank you very much for that uh, Twitch Prime sub, by the way. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm going to Terra. I'm definitely, definitely on it. Oh, I brought my uh, Katana Lance as well. Our new discoveries are to be found this way. Oh, cool draw, Taro. Yeah, I have seen that. Or uh, the first one, anyway. Ooh. The people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. Fuck is that? You know, it seems to have like the same model as that sin eater, and that's definitely a coincidence. But um, ah. Uh... Though that much is plain from its proportions. Lifelike, is it not? One could almost imagine it breathed. This owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. The sealed door lies ahead. Hmm. Is it going to be another owl on a pedestal thing? That other pedestal was a missing one. As you see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. be some additional defense mechanism yeah that you're gonna take the owl off the pedestal and that statue is gonna come to life just a moment there are words carved into the stone he who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber? Oh Should no. Instead, waken the beast and know his folly. Wait, don't! <laughs> Called it. What? What? But I only. What is happening? Called it. Oh, look at this thing! Hell yeah! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! It lives! <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves. Whoa, that is scary. Oh no! What? Hi. Hey there. Hi. Howdy. What? What is happening? It's nice they all had time to like pose first.
Hmm. You trespass mortal upon sacred ground. Retribution for souls have I bound. Yet to heroes proven, learned, and wise, a comrade's soul shall be their prize. If you would see there set free, answer me these riddles three. It's a sphinx. We're doing a sphinx riddle. Theft of poor with kin do I vie. No sort of parts, betterment of the whole, do our efforts descry. What am I? Theft of poor with kin do I vie. No sort of parts, betterment of the whole, do our efforts descry. That's, that's, a uh, uh I mean, that would be true of the Opo Opo and the Koal. They're both pack animals. But I'm going to go with um, Koal. At last was the Opo Opo. Keen and shrewd, its spirit exalts ingenuity, a virtue by which the Ronkins did prosperity pursue. For this mistake, a single talisman I shall take. That could have been either of them, honestly. They're both pack animals. With fearsome fang, I travel with pack. Oh. Yeah, okay. Together, we find harmony, and thus for peace our land does not lack. What am I? I mean, that one's easy. That first one could have been either, though. Indeed, was the spirit of the wolf their doctrines praised. They, that they would know peace and harmony to the end of their days. The riddles answer you to discern, and thus to you a soul returns. On my belly do I crawl, by my strength does prosperity reign within our hall. What am I? You're the great serpent! The great serpent of Lahi! Quells are not death of poor? Of course they are. Indeed, the dread serpent turned protector, lured to slumber, ere it tear the world asunder. The riddles answer you did discern, and thus to your soul return. I guess Wyman's just dead, huh? Desire you that which I yet claim, and we shall play another game. A test of mind and memory. Choose wisely, and you all may yet go free. Which these talismans hide friend and foe? Is your companion well or sorrow? No. And what? What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck? What? They're all the same. Yeah, they don't have paws, exactly. Opa Opas don't have paws. I gotta, oh, this is like a, this is like a matching game. I see. Okay. Bum bow. Really need to commit to that. Okay. Bollocks. Cool. Huzzah! You 
want to choose Opopo when you second guess yourself? Well, poor is what made me think I can't be an Opopo, right? I was like, pack animals, yeah, poor, no, not Opo Opo, no. Your comrades are assembled together at last. Yet still there remains one trial you must pass. If you would glean the knowledge enshrined in this earth, I would first take the measure of your worth. Well, deft is like dexterous, right? But but deft of Paul would normally mean like you're quick on your feet. Defeat the Huarka! I was I'm waiting for this, cheers. Oh good, no positionals, thank you. Grace of Calamity, interesting. What are you summoning? Wrong good cubes, alright. Here I come. Okay, right in the middle of my chub window, that's great. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I only I only lost one. That's not too bad, I guess. I'll piss off Weemit. Pathetic display of one and all, the weak shall not be suffered to disgrace this sacred all. I think you have won, but we have only just begun. a new jelly model. It's from 13? Yeah. Fort Hero, the trial is complete. The way is open, and thus I concede defeat. Hmm. Hmm. See if there's anything else significant here. I don't think anything there is particularly unique. But we'll get a shot of it nonetheless.
you want Huaka as a as a mount? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. Now, what have we learned? <laughs> ah, we were bound to run into uh. a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. I love it how Wiimet's probably old enough to be Stoller's grandmother. And before another monster appears. Oh, give me, uh, give me two minutes, Tal. A hero's deserved slumber. I mean, two minutes. Just let me get through this cutscene, please. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. She is Vis. Could it be the Archmage Tuna? Archmage Tuna. A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation. So potent was her spellcraft. Though she ever fought in the name of peace. I thought them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. I wonder. By the light of fallen stars, great power awakened. Yeah, obviously she had the echo, bruh. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Not less than the echo. In which case, none of this is mere coincidence. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. So, we're about to get speculate. Uh, sorry, we're about to get confirmation of the speculation I've been having since 5.0 that... What we're seeing there is a memory of the final days. We can never unpick the wire. That star shower. Now, however, I believe we might. So like one of the last pieces of 1.0 mystery. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? Moreover, Thanks for the resubs, Does it not recall that which in itself invited us to witness in Amarot? Mm. Just gonna hold some hands here for the people that haven't quite put two and two together yet. The final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond. Might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, mm -hmm. given a suitable trigger? Mm -hmm. But with the with the echo are ancient souls, just like positives. The echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say, modern etherological theory. But if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided. Well, not necessarily undivided. Ah. It 
would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Amarot. And you must recall Emmett Sock's dying request. Remember us. All of the above, Zambil. History is love, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Rolka, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. Your mothers were wise. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions could not fail to be colored by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive, or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. But we have disturbed you not long enough. Thanar will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. Mm. Hey Dan, by the way, thank you so much for three years of tier three support. Holy crap, that is incredible. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so we just got like some hard confirmation for again the uh, the shit that. I and many other people have been speculating since uh, since the beginning of, of, of 5.0 that what we were seeing in the final days um, was reflecting a, a, a memory and that there's a connection between unlocking the echo, realizing the echo, and uh, our, our, our memories of, uh, of being an ancient. So you have the echo, you are uh, a sundered ancient. Perhaps an unsundered ancient. Although, it's gotta be a sundered ancient. I mean, Yashto was just saying, like, of those yet un unsundered, but that, that's, like, demonstrably false because, you know, we had Arbit rejoin with us, and he kind of re rejoined if he wasn't sundered. Uh, so, yeah, people with the echo, the souls of ancients. Whether those were just Amor... Amor Amritines or um, Amritines and other ancients, but uh, those that don't have the echo are made from the the soul residue of post zodiac people. Those those uh, lesser in in very very hard quotes uh, people that the Asians wanted to sacrifice to to zodiac to uh, bring theirs back. And that Heidelin was summoned to stop them. Hmm. All right, give me give me ten seconds here. Give me ten seconds. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Sorry about that, everyone. I am back. We learned nothing of the Asians, but the potential link between the Echo and preternatural star showers is intriguing. That's um, quite an understatement there, Ishtola. Tiona is the reason I took up spellcraft, you know. <sighs> Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine her tomb would be found, let alone that we would be the ones to have the honor to do so. It's interesting. I sorely underestimated the defenses of these ruins. Perhaps Seamus was right to urge caution. Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe, huh? Um, hmm. So, Tuna. We, we know that the Vs joined Bronca um, at the bequest of the, the Emperor. Um, and they became sort of the, uh, the Royal Guard. At least this tribe of them became the Royal Guard. Um, so Tiona wouldn't have been like the founder of Ronka or anything like that, but it was probably their, uh, their progenitor. It's probably the one that the Emperor sort of first connected with. And was presumably a warrior of light. As well as having the echo, obviously. Hmm. Hey, it's Stardbar. Thank you so much for uh, for that raid. How you doing? Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And well, welcome in, guys. We're just doing the uh, the 5.2 MSQ. And um, Dan, thank you for catching that shout out, guys. Go go check out a Stardbar. Stardbar's a, a bloody legend. By your pensive expression, I take it the tomb has given you much to think about. That is well. In time, the knowledge you have gleaned will lead to understanding, and thus arm you for what is to come. Before you leave, however, I would speak again of the teachings of our forebears, of histories learned, not lived. The legend of Tionor and her exploits have been told countless times over the centuries, yet as it is handed from one generation to the next, the story changes. With each telling of the tale, there are new flourishes, details changed or lost. You can never truly know how she lived, for we were not there to see it. But we are here now to bear witness to your life. We have seen the change you have wrought, the echoes that will endure long after you are gone. And though it too will change in time, I swear to you, we shall do our best to preserve your story. I hope you'll forgive me if I don't make an oath of my own, but I think it goes without saying we could never misspeak of your heroism. Perish the thought. So long as we are here, there are none among the Vis who will not know all you have done for Novrat. We are not deserving of such reverence. We are grateful all the same. You can be certain we will have our own tales to tell of the great guardians of Raktika and the ruins of Ronka. I pray you safe travels then. As ever, we shall await your return with open arms. Hmm... Alright, they got anything else? Oh, I want to learn more about this Tiona now. But uh, I imagine that'll probably happen with the Kitari. Although we learned not of the Asians, the insight we gained into the Echo made our trip worthwhile. Before we return to the Crystarium, however, there is a small matter I would attend to in Slitherbow. Might I trouble you to come with me? Are you sure you're still uh, kind of going to be third wheeling there a little bit, aren't I? Thank you. After we arrive, we should have a brief word with Runar. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's nice that we've gotten a handful of uh, confirmations of our speculations so far. Still waiting for the, the other foot to drop, though. Runa appears to be in characteristically high spirits. Ethis, it is so good to see you. You've arrived at a most opportune time. I was preparing a pot of my famous stew. Come, I will ready a place for you. 
I'm sorry, Runar, but we haven't the... Please, I insist. It will only take a minute. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, my apologies, Ethos. It seems our return to the Crystarium will be delayed. But perhaps only for a bit, if you assist me with my work. I say work, but it's rather more a chore. I must clean my chambers here in Slitherbow from top to bottom. You'd be so kind as to go and fetch a broom from Askia. It might finish before Grunar is done cooking. Wait, really? That's... Okay. Came back here to do some housework? Alright. A broom for Master Matoya. I cannot imagine why she would have need of such a thing, but here you are. It is all a bit sturdy and short to suffice. Oh, she's definitely gonna animate it. Right. She's definitely gonna do the Matoya trick. I trust Askir was able to find a broom for us. Yes. Well won. Good. This would prove difficult otherwise. Though I must say, I think I did rather well for not having a broom thus far. <laughs> ah, if you say so. Yes, well, you weren't buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, it's time I finish cleaning with the help of that broom. You didn't honestly think I'd do it the old-fashioned way. That broom is more than capable of sweeping by itself. Or rather, it will be. <clears throat> Time to rise, to swish and sweep. A tidy chamber you must keep. To this task you shall be bound until no dust is to be found. In this one particular respect, I have no objections to following in Master Matoya's footsteps. Yeah, it's kind of nice doing some more, like, pedestrian stuff with the science from time to time. In the future, I may need you to remind me the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean quarters for said pursuit. Ah, I would dearly miss this place. These people. Oh, Runa. Poor boy. M Master Matoya, pardon the interruption, but the stew is ready. Poor kitty. I really feel like I should be leaving them alone here. This doesn't feel right. Something troubling you? You've been rather quiet. No, no. Everything is fine, I assure you. It has been a long day, is all. I see. Ishtala, thank goodness you're still here. Oh, hey, Alice, where have you been? Alfino? I thought you were following Ardbert. I was, though I'm sad to say I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. He seems determined to traverse every elm of Novrant in his quest to spread the truth of the Warriors of Light and the Floods. And it seems news of your address at the Crystarium precedes him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. 
Uh-oh. It remains to be seen to what end he encourages the people to become warriors of light themselves. Oh. But there is no denying these words have struck a chord with many. Well, we're all agreed that this is just another Asian ploy, yes? I've commanded corpses before, and to no good end. I see no reason to think this time is any different, especially when it's that of a fallen warrior of light. I doubt we'll learn more if we remain a step behind. His next destination is, in all likelihood, Slitherbow. Can't imagine they'll be too happy to hear about the light uh, here. Alizé, are you certain you should be here? If you're concerned about Halric and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well, but progress is slow and exhausting for all of us. The best thing I can do now is let them rest. So, I believe we're about to discuss how to arrange a meeting with our would-be Warrior of Light. Hey, Ragnar, thank you very much for six months of Twitch Prime, by the way. I really, really appreciate that support. It's very generous. Before visiting any towns or villages, Arnbert would hunt down and slay a nearby sin to earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of him is to find one before he does. Thankfully, Thancred and Reen are returned from the empty and have taken up the search. What about Gaia? <laughs> is, what's, what's she doing? Rain believeth one may lurk beneath the boughs of World and Oath. Then that is where we will start our search. Master Matoya. I, uh, a warm bowl of stew will be awaiting your return. I look forward to it. Oh, poor Runa. I feel so bad for him. Eating that coffee biscuit alone. <laughs> uh, listen, I really enjoyed this chapter of Eden's verse, but man, like... Gaia's character just doesn't really resonate with me. She's very, um, she's interesting. But the whole, like, edgy, bratty teenager thing is just a little bit flat to me, you know? Like, it's, it's very, the, the, the writing is very Kingdom Hearts. The dialogue is like super, 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 super Kingdom Hearts. And it's another Sydney in a model I don't think we've seen before. That's interesting. Very Nomura, yes. It's very, very Nomura. Hey, uh, Orsator. Hey, thank you so much for 11 months of Twitch Prime. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, I love her design. I love her design, and I, I really enjoy where the story's going, but I thought the dialogue was really just... Ah, uh, it didn't, didn't... It just uh, wasn't very... human. <laughs> it wasn't very believable. Yeah, but uh, hey, that's not what we're doing right now. I can sense no other Sin Eaters in the area. I hope this means Ardbert will be coming this way soon. If you were hoping to vent your frustrations on our Eater friend here, I can only apologize. Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. Weren't you two meant to be attending to the empty? We were indeed, and we've made a certain amount of progress. So we thought we might see how the rest of the world was getting on. From what we can gather, the answer is strangely. Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Yeah, look at us all together. It doesn't happen very Indeed. often these days. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. Our quarry is come. Ah. 
All right, let's drop the pretenders here. Huh. It seems I've lost this particular race. Although I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? Man, he really thinks that he's duping us. That's adorable. But where are my manners? I wouldn't be here were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. Poor fellow. He will be sorely missed. Uh, I mean, he's still around. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. I thought you were supposed to be good at this. Very well. Let us forego this pretense. Hey, this is the first time we've heard a little Mrs. Voice. After all, it was never you that I needed to deceive. Yes, it is I, Elizabeth. Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. Uh -oh. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmett Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. Mm. That's very optimistic, Alpha now. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Selk. How very unlike you to err so gravely. That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable, but I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. As for you, look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back one hundred short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail and you fail and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand. Again and again and again. And you would remember us. You do forget yourselves. Uh, 
There is no common ground to be found between you and I, nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! I mean, he is right, but his mistake well, is in thinking that he's in different. of our foe, at least. And it's safe to say his objective is the rejoining. I mean, he says that we just keep fumbling over the same thing again and again and again and again and again. It's a bit, uh, a bit hypocritical, isn't it? But we still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause. Nor why he would spur others to do the same. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. Finally. Whether we are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains, we know too little. Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus himself. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmett Selk came to ours. Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom born of Emmet Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. They're not 7 out of 8, they're 7 out of 13, first of all. Um, and secondly, they failed at it plenty of times, and they're just dogmatically pursuing the, the same thing over and over and over and over with no, no regards to any of the other worlds or anything else or any context or you know he's implying that we've got our blinkers on and um it's just very ironic isn't it it's a hypocrite i quite agree yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored no the light calamity is not the last one they need Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Unless, unless we're going to learn something in 5.2 that, um, that, that corrects that, all the worlds need to be rejoined. There's all to be learned I want to know. Yeah, unless there's something in this patch that I haven't seen yet, um, I, I guarantee you, it is not the last calamity. They need all. Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. If anyone can tell us where more ruins are to be found, it is them. They already lost the thirteenth. No, they need the thirteenth as well. That's that, that that's the thing, like they either have a plan or they're just kinda like working through the others until they work out how to restore it. But um No, they've the the, the Axians have told us that that um there needs to be something done with the thirteenth. This day in an obfuscation. What is thy true design, necessary? Thank you told me what La Brea did to him. I can't imagine. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Can't imagine how he's feeling right now. I hate to leave him like that. Gods, they can't even let a man rest in peace. Am I the only one who sees the irony in Albert calling us puppets? Thank you, Alize. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking thank you. Would that I had found the words to deny Elidibus. We are so much more than he believes us to be, and yet... Arthur knows the right of it. Let us pay a visit to the Ondo. We should speak with Tolchus Arth first. As chieftain, he is doubtless privy to a great many secrets. Alright. 
whatever was stated where has been retconned? Nothing has been retconned. That's never, that's never been said. Um, Sachin, if, if you can find me like a screenshot or a quote, then that would be, that would be awesome. Um, but, uh, no one's, no one's ever said that. As far as I understand. Hey, what's, uh, what's going on here? These are all the, uh, the, the soul stones. Right? When did they? These weren't here before. I'm going to assume this is something to do with the Katari. See, nothing, nothing's been retconned. The, the, the intentions of the narrative, like internally, um, we know is going in a different direction. So you could say like internally retconned. Um, but nothing that has actually been like put out in the canon um, has has really been like hard retcon. I'd say the closest thing to like a retcon is um, the the elemental, um, what was his name? Uh, Oha Sok, I believe, claiming that he caused the uh, the uh, sixth umbral calamity before we knew about like Mark and the Warring Triad. Uh, sorry, not the Warring Triad and the the War of the Magi and all that. But um, we've had some explanations of like, well, the the elementals just kind of perceive things differently, and when they see like the elements of the world sort of getting out of balance, they 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 kind of like see like uh, nature and and their will as sort of one and the same. When did we actually learn the Asians were rejoining shards? We really know that they wanted to resurrect Zodiac before. Uh, yeah, but we learned pretty quickly that they needed to be rejoining shards to do it. That that it was in uh, it was in Heaven's Ward. We learned all about that. Learning learning about the shards that was a that was a Heaven's Ward thing. This place feels much less ominous than the first time we were here. Then again, we did have the shadow of your impending death hanging over us. Don't be shy now. Perhaps we might look into look in on Posh's own while we're in the area. Mayhap we shall find the secrets we seek in these depths. Should their keepers consent to aid us? I mean, we can just go down to Amarot and poke around. I'm glad to have the opportunity to visit the Tempest again. It's so lovely here, like a different world entirely. The last time we were here, the Ondo sent us to slay a massive creature. It was as large as Leviathan, twice as angry, and yes, of course, I jest, it was only half as large. I have sent for no finless ones. Perhaps you are instead coming, seeking something of us. Ruins which your kind have yet to explore, I see. I know of one such place. Alas, under these circumstances, I am afraid we can spare none to guide you there. And what circumstances are these? Rather than hunt for their own meals, the Benthos have pillaged our stores of Niniri liver. They must be replenished with haste. The Benthos? A particularly violent tribe of Ondo, if I recall. A band of bottom feeders. We all lost much in the flood, but while others work to rebuild, they resort to thievery and murder. Revenge, they call it, when they prey upon your kind. But do not be fooled. They care not who they harm. Would that we had the warriors to challenge them. This is not the first time they have stolen from us, but there is no recourse more precious than liver. Have a resource, rather. All must dedicate themselves to the hunt. Unless, of course, we were to reclaim the livers for you. 
It seems a fitting payment for vital information, does it not? Moreover, one could argue that by employing Bismarck to reach these depths, thereby driving back the waters, we are in part responsible for the deeds of those driven to desperate ends by the changing clients. Uh, Farrah Sirius? I don't know if adding things is like a retcon, though. It's like, it just wasn't there and it wasn't mentioned. Um, one good turn and all that? Yeah, sure. Could we not simply hunt Miniri ourselves? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. We might... But that wouldn't discourage the Benthos from stealing from the Ondo again, now would it? They framed as us gaining a new understanding. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of what I mean by like, the narrative's taking a different direction in 1.0. There were all these mysteries, all these holes in 1.0. And they were kind of planning for them to go a certain way. And like, after Yoshida took over, um, all those threads have been connected to different things. So like, it's them changing the, the sort of trajectory and the structure internally that they were planning, but it, it, it's not like retconning. Retconning's not the right word for it. Reclaiming the stores it is then. We would be grateful beyond words if you did. The Benthos have surely taken their livers back to the flounder's floor. But be what? There would be no shortage of guards waiting to spear intruders. Then we will have care not to draw their attention, shall we? Ah, uh, yes. Don't talk about things that happen that haven't happened in the, the MSQ yet, please. We'll talk about it when we're done. The flounders flow to the northwest. We ondo keep our distance. Were we not in dire straits, I would advise you to do the same. I, uh, whatever it was, I, I didn't read it. I missed it. Um, but, uh, yes, do please be careful. Read the title of the stream. If in doubt, explanation spoilers in chats will fill you in. But uh, I didn't. I didn't catch it, so it's it's cool. It's fine. They repurposed the law threads. That's yeah. That's a good way to put it. That is a good way to put it. But it wasn't. It wasn't like doubling back on stuff that had already been like established in the game. So, like I said, not not a retcon. Oh, hey, Alphano, what's up? N nervous? Me? N not at all. It's a bit dark, though, isn't it? Uh, definitely not haunted, though. Certainly not. Alphano, you are a ghost, okay? Uh, they're not much of a threat one-on-one, -on -one, but Tolshus Arth was right about their numbers. We fight them all, we'll be here a fortnight. These aren't the livers, they're certainly stolen from somewhere. Unless wheat has started growing on the sea floor since last I checked. Alright, I guess we may as well take them as well. Or not. Hey! Hey! Alright, fine. How about the... Thanks for the help, Riage. Rin scaled the wall with remarkable swiftness. Thankra had taught her well. Oh, Rin's up here, is she? Hello? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry, excuse me, what?
I, I haven't forgotten why we're here, I swear. Only, this bird hasn't taken its eyes off me since I found it. I think it might be lonely. Mm. Maybe he was just possessing it. Hmm. Hmm. Is this the fun Easter egg? Nothing is just a fun Easter egg. Well, we're not underwater. But, uh, yes. Hmm. Well, where the where the fucking limbs at, eh? I ain't here. There we go. Are those them? Perhaps you've deduced this already, but it seems that Benthos have been raiding collusion storehouses as well as those of the Ondo. Oranges, pumpkins, wheat. But we can discuss this after we see the livers safely back to Tolsha's Arth. Wouldn't do to keep him in suspense. <laughs> it's another Orange prank? Yeah, probably. That's probably what it is. Cheeky prick. Oh wait, I can just teleport back, eh? <laughs> uh. Let it expedite it a bit. Like when you see Nutkins with Thancred? Yeah, but I'm, I mean, it is definitely that, but there's also like a little bit more implication with the shoe bill. You happen to see a bird while you're in the caves. Rin insists that there was one. But how? I know it sounds strange, but there really was a bird in those caves. Hmm. Venture ashore and steal from the collusions entail an unconscionable risk. There is no denying the truth of our lives. So the Benthos have been stealing supplies from the collusions. Hmm. I'm glad you had better luck than I did. I spent the whole time fighting one Benthos after another. I have a feeling there is more to this. I am relieved to see you unspeared. Mm. Our precious livers! I knew you would not fail. We also found all manner of foodstuffs from Kaluza in the Flounders Four. Tell me, Tolsha's Ark, does that seem odd to you? It is brazen, to be sure. I'm reminded of rumors I've heard recently concerning a rash of thefts from collusion warehouses. Perpetrators enter in the dead of night and are gone before anyone has realized what has happened. The Umoran army has been investigating, but thus far to no avail. Perhaps the reason they have struggled so is that they're quarriers of the sea. The true question, then, is what we mean to do about it. Much as I would like to proceed to the ruins, without further delay, we cannot allow the Benthos to carry on as they are. Hey, Ishtar, we're like super got better things to do right now. If I may, I believe that the ruins are in fact key to the Benthos' plans. Is that so? 
These ruins, which lie deep within the illuminated land, are a recent discovery. We have seen signs that the Benthos are preparing to claim them with all haste. Could not fathom why, but in light of the knowledge that they have been stockpiling resources. It is clear that their queen will soon give birth. They require space to raise their young and food for both queen and hatchlings to thrive. Well, we can hardly fault them for that. Under normal circumstances, perhaps. But conditions in the Tempest are far from suitable for spawning, its resources barely able to sustain our current population. There is only one reason they would disregard this. They seek to build an army and take it, and with it take revenge upon the Finless. It is not a surprise. They came to us not long ago seeking allies for the cause. We were above them, of course. The suffering of others will not serve as balm to their own. Their queen, however, desires only bloodshed and will gladly send her children to die in our stead. They are planning to wage war. That changes matters considerably. Indeed. I doubt that this can be resolved without violence, but perhaps with a show of force we can convince them to see reason before the die is cast. I would rather not risk your people in the attempt. We travel to the illuminated land. Is there a way we might identify the ruins ourselves? Yes. Once you reach its depths, go deeper still. You will see a monstrous structure there upon the seafloor. That you have come to us now is the will of the Ancient Ones. They have guided you here that you may drive out the usurpers. Those who seek to use their magnificent creations with vile purpose. I have no doubt that they will show you the way forward. I am afraid that the dead do not speak quite so clearly. Nevertheless, we shall try not to disappoint. If what we seek lieth deeper still, beyond Amorot, I would call upon the assistance of another. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Why do these problems always turn out to be so much more complex than they seem? Can we have a simple, straightforward adventure for once? The good guy's good, the bad guy's bad, no drama or intrigue, and it all ends with tea and tarts. <laughs> Fuck, I love Alizé so much. Doesn't feel all that honorable or heroic to strike first, but if it leads to less bloodshed in the end. Is it wrong of me to be a bit excited? I know the circumstances are grave, but imagine what those ruins might hold. I would not care for what happened in Limsa to be repeated a world away. Then those know not what they do. I was just thinking, like, what are they going to summon Leviathan? You need not believe in the will of the ancients to receive their guidance. Like the tide and the current, it is there always. Though our course hath been decided, to pursue it we must needs beseech the aid of a friend. I, I speak of Bismarck. Pray follow me to Sullen that we might seek an audience with him once more. Alright. Alright, I can party with that. Is that the ruby weapon gunblade? That thing looks fucking awesome. Look at that. Look at that shit. Hell yeah. I'm into it. Alright, back to Salen, and I believe our closest is Fort Job. <laughs> oh, I could see that at S night. They just look like Zavan weapons. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess they kind of do. I think that's fair. But that said, you know, there's no uh, Zavan gunbreaker weapon, right? As far as I know. Am I wrong about that? Have I seen the Dragoon weapon? No, not yet. What does that know about the trial and raids? I know. Uh, I've done the raid story, except for the post-raid quests, 
and I know nothing of the trials. But um, we're not going to be talking about either of them yet. Um, after we're done with the MSQ here, I'm going to go and do that that, uh, that post-MSQ Eden quest. And we can talk a little bit about Eden there. Um, but uh, we're not going to talk about the trial until, until we've gotten to that. Please. I don't talk much about primals on the first. No, like not at all. And some of them worship Akitania. Uh yeah, they were they were pretty keen on Akitania. Actually, yes. I did. I did find the shoe bill, yes. From here we press onward to the Isle of Ken. I myself shall proceed on foot. I think it's kind of funny that we're still calling it an aisle. <laughs> you perfected your technique then. Just so. The water will be as glass beneath my feet, and provideth purchase fragile yet true. Watch closely. Hey, can you teach us that? Super quick, Rianger. Oh, I certainly shall. Forgive me, but would it not be easier to perfect your swimming technique? Aye, it would be a pity if you drowned, truly. Oh hush, I'm sure it'll be brilliant. <laughs> All right. Oh man, he's so fucking cool. He's done it! Incredible! Alright, how far out is he gonna get before he falls in? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> uh, got 12 steps. All right. Hey, Uriaje, why are you just getting get Amaro, dude? Why does no one ever have mounts? My apologies. The technique that requires the purest of focus and mind was lacking. To perfect this magic, I went so far as to deal with the Fuah. With their aid, mine efforts finally met with success, albeit on a single occasion. I know not why I cannot repeat it. I thought I saw you waver a bit towards the end there. Perhaps you're simply... tired? Oh? Thancred? Oh no. Oh no. It's nothing to worry about. Only a dizzy spell. Though it may not be wise to go for another swim just now. Thankfully, we have an alternative. A wonderful little invention, I'm certain you'll agree. Uh. Hey, I've got the regalia. Like, we can't all fit in that, but I can do a couple of trips. Before you make some quip about age catching up with me, you'd be out of breath too if you had to drag Rianger out of the sea without so much of a warm up. Yeah, and in heavy armor too, to be fair. If there's two really, uh, really all right, perhaps we should take a moment to rest. What sort of dealings with the Fuath, I wonder? I must admit, I'd been keen to attempt walking on water myself. But I know what Alizé would say. I'll stick to swimming, thank you very much. 
Uh, I will petition Bismarck's aid on our behalf. Let us pray my diplomacy proveth more effective than mine experimental magics. Oh no, Thanker is like 40... He's like 42 here, after the five years he's spent here. Hey Nomad, oh my goodness, thank you so much for 30 months, holy crap. You speak with the voice of the king, little neighbors, I will not deny you. As before, if you seek what sleeps beneath the sea, I will be your guide. Thy kindness is as boundless as the depths, serene one. Before we depart, however, I would ask a favor. After our last flight, I found many creatures clinging to me. I am itchy. Remove them and I will take you below. With all haste shall it be done. <laughs> Seriously? Who's my favorite scion? Orange. Orange and Alize close behind. So, did he agree? I, though I agreed to a favor in kind. Regrettably, it is not one I possess the power to grant. Bismarck hath asked us to cleanse his underbelly of barnacles. Alas, one must needs dive beneath the surface to do so. Even if I could master the power to walk upon it, it would avail me naught. Oh, for heaven's sake, is that all? Ethis and I are more than capable of that. Uh, thanks. The Conan's blessing will have it done in moments. And better than standing here and listening to this nonsense, I'll take the right, you the left, now go. Oh, okay. No, we don't know how much time is between 2.0 and 5.0. We know it's, it's like between a year and two years. It's like around two years, but it's ambiguous and as such their age is also ambiguous i am in your debt oh uh, yeah thank you thank you it's older than nouriel j and we have no idea how old your stoller is because yeah she's been she's been claiming that she's 23 for like 100 years <laughs> None of us is much of a match for Alizé when she's like this. That from your stoller, perhaps. <laughs> I think Thangrid's embarrassed. I'd say so. Yes, I'm perfectly well recovered, thank you. It's a minor miracle that we accomplish anything at all, wouldn't you say? Mine apologies. This venture had not proceeded as smoothly as I had hoped. No, not so much, huh? Um, we don't know how old Reen is specifically, but yeah, she's like, she's somewhere between 14 and 16. She's a little bit younger than Alphino and Alhazé, I think. We don't know, though. Yeah, the twins were, were 16 at the beginning of ARR. Um, so they would be like 17 or 18 now. Around there. Project, well look, let me... Let don't, um, don't take my word for it. Hey, let me blow this up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where are we? Now, don't know if they give us another rehashing of this in volume two. I'm having a look at volumes. Check. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Journey's past. No. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta go back to sleep. Um, okay. This will take just a moment after all the, all the cities, nation, oh, go. Gallimore, here we go. A servant. All right, okay. Réalgé, 29. You go, Réalgé was 29 at the beginning of ARR. So that put him at 30 or 31 um, by uh, the end of Stormblood. Um, so his soul is like 32 or 33, given that he spent three years. In, in his, his time, his experience, he spent three years in Northrat. So like 32 or 33, and his his body is 29 or 30. Yeah. There you go. Um Sancred was 32 at the beginning of ARR. So that puts him. Yeah, okay. He's not he's not he wouldn't be 40 yet. It put him at 33 or 34 by the beginning of uh by the end of Stormblood, I should say. Um, so he's like 38 or 39 um, soul age now. And again, Ustola has been insisting that she's 23 for an indeterminate amount of time. Uh, Alfie, no. Alfie, no is trying to find his age here on graduating at 16 he resolved to sail for Eorzea yeah okay so he and Alize were 16 at the beginning of ARR makes them 17 or 18 at the end of Stormblood which makes them 19 or 20 now um, they look younger because um that's the sort of peculiarity of, of Elizen, why Elizen tend to live a couple of decades longer than other spoken races, apart from the Vis, of course, but let's say, you know, more than like Cure and all, all, all the other ones. They live a little bit longer because they have uh, a prolonged adolescence. So um, in Heaven's Ward, Alfino and Alize had gotten a little bit taller, and in Stormblood, a little bit taller still. I don't think they've gotten any taller from Stormblood to um, uh, to now because like they're not aging. But um, we don't really know how that works actually. But there you go. Sagittarius, don't, don't go there. We're not, we're not doing that, all right? <laughs> well, that was disgusting. I pray we'll not be required to attend any other matters of personal hygiene. <laughs> oh dear. Thine efforts are most sincerely appreciated. I will inform Bismarck that we may de depart without further delay. They're still so tiny. Yeah, well, I just explained. Yeah. Hmm, much better. Thank you, little neighbors. I remember a long time ago another did this favor for me. After the front, when I chose this spot for my slumber, came and made a home on my back. Ken was his name. Oh, there you go. When I grew itchy, I stirred. He was not afraid. No, he asked me what was wrong. I told him of the creatures clinging to my belly, and he dove into the water. He helped me. He was my friend. He told me he wished to live in peace away from his people and their wars. This I understood. I treasured our time together, brief though it was. Brief though it always is. I remember him and how he laughed when we flew. I remember when he slept. I too slept that day and many days since. But the light fades and the darkness returns. 
Ken sleeps, but in memory he laughs, and together we fly. And I am here. I am awake. Hmm. Feels good to speak and to be heard again. The shame mothers cannot understand me. If thou art willing to learn, I would gladly teach thee the language of man. Thank you, my friend. But it is time I grant you your request. But first, I will take flight to cleanse my body and prepare. The dive will be swift, and I would not have you struck by errant debris. So this island was named for a man. I always leave the past is forgotten. Yeah, I thought it was Isle of Ken as in like Isle of Knowing. Because we know that like, um, the Fae language is, uh, sort of vaguely based on, um, well, like Celtic languages, right? Interesting. Uh, yeah, guys, any, anyone that's gonna keep banging on about, like, you know, Age of Consent and shit like that is gonna start to get, uh, timeouts. Alright, I'm not, not interested in having that discussion, please. This one is a Fae? Yeah, but a, a, a Fae is, like, less a, a category of ontology and more, like, a, um, a nation. It's more like just whatever creatures have pledge their allegiance to, to, to Tanya, as far as we understand. Nationality? Yeah, it's kind of kind of more like that. Like, the Amaro, for instance, have quite a distinct ontology from the Fuath and the, uh, and the Pixies, as far as we know. He passed not even 100 years ago, yet the truth has slipped from history, like so many grains of sand. Might I have some explanation of what he just said? Or shall we all stand about making vague and mysterious illusions? While he maketh ready to deliver us unto our destination, his mark bade us wait for him on the shore of Kalusia. That's all? I feel as though there was more to it. Indeed there was, but it hath no bearing on the task at hand. I should be glad to share the rest with you anon. Did the pixies exist before the flood? Yes, they did. Fine. Later then. They did. Their, um, their homeland was consumed. They lived in a forest and it was consumed and they had to flee. Um, along with the Fuath and the, um... Uh, the uh, awakened Amaro, the what? What do they? What do they call themselves? The um, reverted, something like that. Yeah, all the Fey races, basically. Yes. If Bitchmark requires time to prepare, might I suggest a short respite for Rianjay and Thancred in particular? I require no such thing. I'm the picture of perfect health. Mine was but a momentary lapse in concentration. Worry not on my account. You mustn't push yourself so. Please, rest. For me. Oh, all right. If you insist. You too, Ethis. You've been running yourself ragged. Um, yes, ma'am. You might be the creature the legends of Vanu believed in were based on. Yeah, I I think that's that's a possibility that he's like some pre-sundered ancient creature. Um, that uh, you know, some sort of like cultural memory has been retained. Um between the shards. It's either that or like or or this Bismarck has been named Bismarck again for the same reason. Even if it's not literally this pre-sundered creature. It's like there was a pre-sundered Bismarck that 
they have memories of here and they had memories of on the source as well. In that case, I leave the old men in your care. The rest of us will meet you at the Split Hall Anon. Ah, <sighs> word of advice, never let it show. When she realizes she struck a nerve, she remembers. By the gods, she remembers. In any case, we must be made to rest. I know a place in Sullen that's better for it than most. Come with me. Yeah, well, they were either a chimerical creature or they were a creature that he, that already existed and was, like, magically enhanced in the same way that, you know, like, the Pirogos, Familiars, or Koshi was, uh, was sort of, like, magically imbued. But I suspect they were probably, like, yeah, like, magical chimeras, given that they don't appear on the source, that the Ronkins did sort of create them wholesale. But they age come with wisdom. Or so I pray. May as well have a seat. We wouldn't want our elderly knees to give out. Here yeah, speak, you'd think I'm on my deathbed. By the twelve, I wish that girl wouldn't worry so much. Thy countenance belies thy words, Master Thangrit. <laughs> I'm sure I don't know what you mean, but the records show that I'm here under protest. Though I can't say I mind the view. And if the abundance of anglers is any indication, even an amateur might land an impressive catch. Shall we dry our hands at it? Hell yeah, I'll teach you guys how to fish. Let's do it. Aw, help someone, quickly. Oh, you had lightning and rain this cutscene, that's hilarious. It's Nightshade. He was attacked on the road for the Crystaria, barely escaped with me life. Um, so Nightshade is, uh, is an organization of, uh, of elf bandits, um, that presumably formed after the fall of, uh, Lakeland, the, the, the kingdom of Lakeland. I suppose we might have predicted this. Um, and there's, uh, quite a few fates around that sort of deal with them. Yes, it's also poison. You mean you'll help for free? For, thank you. If I recall correctly, Nightshade is a local band of outlaws. I doubt they'll trouble us over much. No more than they already have by interrupting our relaxation at any rate. Hmm. Well, that's cool. I was wondering if they were ever gonna, like, factor in to the story. Well, it was ambush. I ran, but my friend, he went fast enough. Dan, y'all need mounts. What server am I on these days? I am on Light. I am on Odin, my main. And uh, my alt is on Behemoth. Well, the alt that I sort of play. Oh, hey, Thaler, what's up? Fortunately, this one wasn't clever enough to bring support. Never fear, Nitro, ain't no match for the guard. Can you believe this? I don't even have anything worth stealing. All save our miscreants appear unharmed. These two have matters well in hand by the looks of it. I'll not forget this kindness. May we meet again. Is that you, sir? 
Don't tell me you were just deprived that poor fellow of the honor of being rescued by the Warrior of Darkness. You had no idea you were in the area. Fancy us meeting again so soon, eh? Well, I believe I even recognize your companion. Ah, yes, from the infirmary. You had a message for the Crystal Exarch, did you not? Good to see you back on your feet, and on patrol, no less. Oh, nothing as official as all that. Strictly speaking, we're off duty. But as we had a free moment, we thought we'd give a few of the less traveled roads a look. The guard don't have enough hands to patrol them regularly, you see. That's admirable. There are a few so devoted to their duty in Lakeland or beyond. Well, we've been talking about it for a while. Neither of us is satisfied with just seeing out our service. It's like we could be doing more, like we should be doing more. Oh no, they want to be warriors of light. It's all about having a will to help your fellow man the resolve to see it through. Uh, I remember you, the excitable one. Sorry, sir. I got a bit of excited the other day. Couldn't get me words out. Name's Vonard, sir. I'm with the guard. But I, I, I don't just want to protect Leyland. I want to protect the lot. Just like the warriors are like. Sadly, our duties prevent us from venturing too far from our own little corner of Northrat. What we'd really like to do is travel, better ourselves, and go where the need is greatest. But everyone has to start somewhere, don't they? Now, if we can stop Nightshade from robbing the old fisherman, then that's what we'll do. No, Huvac, I haven't. Well, uh, we'll get there soon enough. Well, well. Future heroes are the first, do you think? Yeah, they do need an adventurous guild here now, don't they? They want not for spirit. It's but a pity they draw inspiration from so clouded a wellspring. Yet it avail us not to fret in idleness. It does need to press on if we are to bring Elidibus' schemes to light. Hmm. Hmm. It pains me to think that men with such pure intent are being made to serve Asian ends, however, directly. They're right. People need heroes. Alright, here we go. Though our respite was cut short, I dare say we are all eager to avail ourselves of such knowledge as the ruins may hold. Aye. And I, fur I, I doubt further contemplation of Elidibus's machinations will be conducive to relaxation. We may as well make for the split hull now. This guy's robe, that looks fucking awesome. Oh, is the Eden Grace jacket? It's just got it uh, dyed storm blue. Okay. Nice. Nice! How about we make the Crystal Braves in the first? Ooh. Well, it kind of seems like that's what uh, Lidibus might be trying to do right now, huh? Something, something like it. Make question how the real Arbit died. Uh, the real Arbit died when I... Uh, well, they, they all died when they abandoned their bodies to travel to, uh, to the source. They, they died. They, they left their mortal coils and they were buried. It's just, um, his companions, they like used up all the ether of their souls to help Minfilia stop the, uh, the flood of light. Whereas, uh, Ardbert did not. Minfilia told him that his time had not yet come. So, how much of a respite did you actually enjoy? Half a moment? We rested, didn't we, Ethis? <laughs> What's keeping Bismarck? Surely it doesn't take this long to check off a few loose stones. 
You arrived la rather early. Are you certain you did as you were told? Shut up, Rain. Shut up. Perhaps we ought to have clarified what Bismarck meant by a short while. In his mind, our whole lives might be as the blink of an eye. All at present. Now we need but await Bismarck's coming. It's time. Ray, make ready. An amnesis and I are now accessible. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, trusty boys. All right, well, I need to take Yustola and Orianje. So, Alize, I love you, but you're going to be left behind. Rin, you're not going to have any insight to speak of. And, uh, yeah, okay. All right. Let's do it. Small talk. Unlike Amarot, the ruins which we now seek are no illusion. Ooh. There is no knowing what awaiteth below. That's good to know. We must hope that whatever slumbers in the depths will help to shed some light upon Elidibus's recent activities. What are we waiting for? Whether or not we find knowledge we seek, we have a duty to stem the Bentho's aggression. Your maw has only just begun to rebuild. We can't be certain that the Benthos are all we'll find down there. Stay alert. I like to think my skills have improved in some small way since the last time we fought together. I won't let you down. Alright, let's heck and do it, y'all. No, no. Here we go. No. No no no. No. Yeah, we'll take Easter. Our fates are not yet. And, and Dad could. My turn! 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 Ah, lordy, lordy, lordy. Sloppy! Alright, now everyone shut the fuck up. 